student my name is Hridesh and you are watching my channel your classroom at home if you really want to increase your mathematics skills so please don't forget to subscribe my channel a student in today's lecture i am going to solve a good question on the basis of identity strength or the application of trigonometry question says a straight highway leads to the foot of the tower a man is standing on the top of this tower and observe that a car at angle of 30 degree angle of depression This car is approaching to the foot of the tower. With uniform speed, And six second later, the angle of depression of the car is found to be sixty degree. Depression of the car. is found to be 60 degree. Find the time taken by the car to reach the foot of the tower from this point. The time taken by the car to reach the foot of the tower from this point to reach the foot of the tower from this point first of all i will try to draw the figure by using the given information Let's say this is our tower AB and this is our highway. Now a man is observing this car at an angle of depression 30 degree. This will be 30 degree. Then this will also be 30 degree since alternate angles are always equal. Now after 6 seconds the car is at point C. Let's say this is point D. Now, this man observe this car at this point at an angle of depression 60 degree. This will be also 60 degree since alternate angles are always equal. Here, the speed of the car is given as uniform speed. Let us assume that the uniform speed of the car is x unit per second. Let 
being the Holy Spirit of God is equal to x unit per second. So the distance covered by the car in 6 seconds is dc. So distance from d to c is equal to 6x. Since distance is equal to speed into time. Since distance is equal to speed into time. So this will be 6x units. This will be 6x. Now assume that dc is equal to y and the height of the tower is x. Let dc is equal to y unit and the height of the tower is h unit. Now consider right angle triangle ABC. AB is here perpendicular and DC is base. So AB upon DC is equal to 1060. AB is H unit. And DC is here Y unit. And we know that 1060 is root 3. Now find the value of H. Y root 3. Now consider right angle triangle ABD. In right triangle ABD. Here perpendicular is AB. And base is now db. So ab upon db will equal to and 30. Since the angle of depression is here 30. ab is h and db will be 6x plus y is equal to 1 upon root 3. Now further try to find the value of h. Root 3h will equal to 6x plus y. So h will equal to 6x plus y upon root 3. Here we found that the value of h is 6x plus y upon root 3. And from this equation h is equal to y root 3. Now equating 1 and 2 root 3 y will equal to 6x plus y upon root 3. Now cross multiplying by root 3. Root 3 into root 3 3. 3 y is equal to 6x plus y. Now transpose y to the left hand side. 3y minus y is equal to 6x. So this will be 2y is equal to 6x and y will equal to 3x. So we have found that the y is equal to 3x. Now our requirement is to find the time from C to B. So the car will take the time to approach the foot of the tower from point C to point B is as time is equal to distance upon speed. So time is equal to here distance covered by the car is 3s. And the speed we have assumed x. Now divide 3s by x. So this will be 3 seconds. So the car will take 3 seconds 
to reach the foot of the tower from point C to point B. So student, in today's lecture, I have solved a good question on the basis of height and distance. So keep watching my videos and keep practicing. Thank you. Take care.